Hi, Pastor Rick here. Today is Wednesday, February 24th. It is the first Wednesday of the Lenten season, if you don't count Ash Wednesday. And I offer you this short devotion. It comes from a book called A Story to Tell, Devotions for Lent uh, by Augsburg Fortress. First reading from Mark chapter 2. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone at once? Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Jesus regularly found himself in a position of opposition which is good news to folks who are wearied by the simplistic notion that all Christians are nice people. That nice image can restrict us to the point that all we do is sit on our hands. We are caring, loving, and generous. And caring, loving, and generous people don't go around upsetting each other with their actions. Do you see how this image can bind us and restrict our movement sometimes? We do not follow images of what it is to be Christian. However, we follow Christ. We follow Jesus, who had no difficulty showing compassion, even when others found it offensive. He had no problem loving all people, despite the way that agitated many in his society. Being bold and humble all at once. Likewise, we are called upon to love in ways that offend sometimes by reaching out to someone who believes differently than we do, someone who looks differently than we do, by protesting injustice, by setting boundaries so that we don't get walked all over, by challenging assumptions, and yes, yeah, sometimes forgiving an enemy. It won't always feel good. But feeling good is not the aim. The aim, the goal is faithfulness, which sometimes can just plain be messy. Let us pray. Jesus, when it's called for, give me the courage to do the loving thing that's going to upset the apple cart. Amen. You have a fantastic day. Stay tuned here in the Wednesdays following for short devotions and pieces of hold an evening prayer. Have a great week. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.
God, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.